What up, everybody? It's Casper here, and this is my WWE Extreme Rules 2016 review. Let's get it. So the pay-per-view kicks off with the Usos versus the Bullet Club. As soon as the Usos came out, they're getting booed. They're getting booed out the building. I guess the fans are getting tired of seeing the same old thing with the Rocks family. We got Roman Reigns running around. We got Usos running around. People booed them through the whole night um, versus the Bullet Club. They're fresh, they're new, back in the WWE. I say back because Luke Gallows used to be Festus, if anybody knows that. Um, well, they back. Uh, everybody's cheering for them. Um, the Usos caught a lot of heat through the night. Uh, that match, though, gets a three. It is a good match. Um, then we move on to Kalisto versus Rusev. Um, that, I'm tired of seeing that whole David and Goliath thing, like the the really small guy versus the OD big guy. Uh, that was for the United States Championship. I don't really like that match. That gets like a two and a half. Then we move on to the New Day versus the Vaughn Villains. Um, again, that, that match, I, I guess it would get a three on behalf of the New Day because the New Day is always funny and entertaining. But the Vaughn Villains is just not what I like. Like, they, they come out in black and white. They real... Old school, they stick to a script like the they like from a blast from the past or something. It's just corny to me. Almost one of the best matches of the night. Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho, the asylum match. That match was good. I give that match a five. There was blood. They they done beat each other with all the weapons up there. They made sure that they touched every weapon before the match was over. Um I guess they they put it like that, like, well, we're not gonna have all these weapons hanging on the top for nothing. So let's just use all of them and then end the match. That was good. I got a little clip. Um, then we had the Natalia versus Charlotte match. Um, that match was poop. Uh, it was it was real fast. I, I thought Natalia was gonna do something. She gets distracted by by a fake Ric Flair, um, which was stupid in the first place because uh, everybody knows Ric Flair's hair and everything and how tall he is and how old he looks in the face. So how she got distracted by a girl who comes out with this longish blonde hair and thinks it's Ric Flair is just retarded, and she gets distracted and put in the figure eight and doesn't win the championship. I knew they wasn't gonna give her the belt though, cause Natalia, like she's she go wrestle and her family is down that the the bloodline of WWE and stuff, but she's she's corny. She has to go through development. I, I don't know. She doesn't have um she doesn't have uh I don't know. She she just doesn't have what a champion needs to to have a good career. Like she could wrestle, don't get me wrong, but she just ain't Right, she doesn't fit the role of a of a champion yet, and I don't know actually when is she gonna fit the role of a champion because she been in WWE for the longest. Um, her acting sucks. She got this like stuck up. Her nose is up in the air because who her uncle and her father is, and I don't know. It's just not working for her. Um, then we have um, the. The main championship match. That's going to be in part two. Make sure you guys check it out. So let's go back over. We got a three. We got a two and a half. We got a three. We got the five. And then we got the poop match. Two and a half. 